This is Gary McKee. This is West Cumbria, where Gary went on his daily run. He'd usually go past these sheep, past his primary school, and past Bill, who would brew him a cup of tea. Then he'd run back home before work. Seems pretty idyllic, right? Until you realize Gary's morning run is a marathon. That's 26.2 miles every single day. I'm Gary McKee, and in 2022, I ran 365 marathons in 365 days. The story probably starts on the 23rd of June, 1997, when I came home from work, and when I went in the house, my dad was sitting there in his usual chair, and he had tears in his eyes. He told me that he had cancer. He passed away six years later of an unrelated illness, and in his memory, I wanted to do something to celebrate his life. So I became a fundraiser for Macmillan Cancer Support, knowing that the charities were going into people's houses, and telling them the same devastating news that we'd been told. Gary raised money by doing long distance running, but he wanted to take his challenges to the next level. It all just happened really quick. We were sat in the kitchen and I was painting his face and he just, he just came out with it. We were all shocked. I'm sure there are other people who have done something similar in terms of marathons, but not while holding down a full-time job to do it whilst running a, a family, a busy family life and still supporting other people along the way. There actually aren't any words. <laughs> Gary ran around 10,000 miles over the year. That's the distance between Rome and Sydney. He spent 30 hours running every week in one of the hilliest parts of England, climbing the equivalent of 11.7 Mount Everest over the year. If I was going to work, I'd be up at five o'clock in the morning. The only things I wouldn't know would be my shoes. I'd never wore the same pair of shoes on consecutive days. And then I would normally do a motivational video for the day. Good morning on day 289. 10 degrees outside, cloudy and windy. Word caught on quickly. Once people started to realize this madman was actually running 26 miles every single day, they began to join him to support the cause. People were coming previously couch to 5K, 5K to 10K, Thank you at the half marathon, pushing themselves to do the full marathon. Work colleague Chris ran 92 marathons alongside Gary over the year. Gary's challenge gave me a purpose at a time that I needed it most. Sometimes I don't really know the best way to help myself, but I always know that trying to help others is the best way to start. I don't think any of us would have went, I'm going to run even in excess of 10 marathons in a year. It was December 31st, 2022, the 365th marathon. Gary's final day was a monumental occasion. A 50-strong band of runners joined Gary on a victory lap. The town was alive with energy. The final day. I mean, what an event that was. The procession that followed Gary through Cleetamoor, absolutely incredible. Just before we finished, I pulled everybody together and I thanked them. And I said to them, no matter how many miles you run in your life, you'll always remember this last one. The roads are lined with people. There's fireworks going off, and there was over a thousand people at the Rubber Club waiting for me coming in. And there's chocolate block. At 7:20 p.m., Gary had reached his fundraising goal. For nine years, as of now, I've raised one million pounds for my children in hospital home. What you've got to remember is I hadn't had a beer for over a year. So being the extreme person that I am, I tried to do 26.2 beers. <laughs> I think if people understood what their actual limits were and what the boundaries were, they would say that they could push themselves a lot further than they believe. I think it's getting comfortable being uncomfortable sometimes and just working towards the light, because however dark it is, you can always find the light if you dig deep enough.